My confidence definitely took a hit. My abs are hurting. Yeah, yes. right? You feel it. I'm nowhere near a pull up. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it at the end. It just seems impossible. So Ari, Elise, and I accepted this challenge because we're all relatively fit. So we want to see if we're able to do one pull up with only 60 days of training. I'm excited because I love fitness challenges, but nervous because I've been athletic all my life and never successfully done a pull up. Okay, we'll see how this goes. We had a pull up bar in our house. My dad would like train me to do pull ups as a seven year old. Nothing? Nothing. For 12 was your record. I wrote it down. I don't think I could do 12. I can do at least one. I'm getting my pull-up baby back. Oh. I'm excited to dive back into my training as an adult. I boulder a lot, which is indoor rock climbing. So that, I guess, does require some upper body strength. I think pull-ups are an ultimate test of agility and strength. At the moment, I don't really have like a fitness goal, so being able to do a pull-up is a perfect one because you can either do it or you can't. So to kick off the challenge, we decided to see an expert to get some background information on what goes into a pull-up. All right, show me what you got. Mm. Yeah, that's as far as okay. I can get. Cool. You're actually pulling back and then up. And you are arching. You want to stay into a hollow position. So now I can see you're not activated with your shoulders, yep. So Mel was super attentive and she assessed us individually so that we can start off with good form. Hollow position, think about like a banana shape. Straight legs, there you go, good. For women, we are more heavy bottom. If our weight is more distributed on the bottom, it's gonna be a lot harder to pull ourselves up. After meeting with Mel, I had definitely a better idea of what things to look out for when I'm practicing. As long as you train, then you will definitely get it. The first week was brutal because my body was not used to that much upper body training. And my hands were not happy. I definitely feel inspired at home now with a pull-up bar because every time I walk by it, I like to hang on it or do something with it. There's this park that I walk past every day on my way to work. I would just like go across the monkey bars and just do like five assisted pull-ups or hang for a bit. I think this is a blister. I can't touch my head. Everything's hurting. My upper body definitely feels more sore than usual and it's in places that I didn't expect, like the sides of my back and my armpits. Denny, my boyfriend, he never works out. He was able to do like four. I work out more than you. I've always been able to, yeah. Ugh, so annoying. My confidence definitely took a hit. Oh God. Even when I agreed to be in this video, I was like, oh, I can do one if I put my mind to it. I was working out every day, and all I could do were these weird shoulder shrugs. And people seeing me would kindly suggest me to use the assisted machine instead of the pull-up bar. All I can do is like one inch, it's like pathetic. <laughs> How do you do it? I'm three weeks in, not having much faith in myself at all. Ugh. It's harder than it looks. I'm like a broken record just talking about how frustrating this process is. That should be like an easy move because you're jumping and you're using momentum and I can barely hold myself. I feel like I've done everything that I can and I'm still not where I want to be. That's it. What? That's it. No way, you can do more. Try it again. That's it. I'm nervous. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it at the end. You wanna do it, but you physically can't and you're exerting energy and physically it looks like you're not going anywhere. I almost lost hope, but then I suddenly was able to hold myself up in a jumping pull-up. I think I just needed time in the beginning to build muscle strength and muscle memory to understand how to pull myself up and engage the specific muscles needed. I haven't made any progress. Maybe I can channel that anger into my pull-up. Oh, I have the strength from like here up but I just don't have the strength from hanging. I'm still impressed with myself because I could not do that before. Just this morning we went to the gym and I tried to do a pull up. I got my arms to 90 degrees, which is like more than I ever thought I would be able to do. Now I'm back confident again and I'm gonna tell myself I can definitely do one.
We're very close to the end of this, and I'm still worried I won't be able to do the pull-up, but no matter what, I do feel stronger. And I like that, and I feel like I got some little bit of muscles happening. Mm. After realizing that I was able to hold myself in a jumping pull-up, things got way easier. So I just kept weight training, I kept practicing my holds, and week seven, I was able to do one pull-up without jumping. It's just crazy. Never in my life have I imagined I could do one. I noticed through the footage that I'm not like fully chin above bar. But since I have this extra time, I'm still gonna continue doing my workouts and really get that clean, strict pull up. I'm definitely more motivated to keep going. I feel like I look stronger too. Like I'm noticing like my shoulders more. I've actually like started approaching people and like asking them for advice. I even like had my yoga teacher help me out with some stuff and I feel really close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the bar every day, whether it's at the gym or the bar on my way to work. And I really wanna just like commit to giving it my all. There's like no time left before this challenge ends. So I'm really gonna start pushing myself more. I'm really close. I can do the pull up from standing on a pillow and I think I'm gonna get it. We didn't do any arms for this workout. So I just wanna see if I can manage to do my pull up today. I really did a clean, strict pull up. I'm super happy. Maybe I won't get a perfect pull up yet, but I definitely feel stronger, so that's kind of all that really matters. It's been 60 days, and I can do a pull-up. Yeah! Dude. Yeah! Woo. I can do it now, it's amazing. <laughs> I am so impressed with myself to be able to commit to 60 days of training. I feel like a badass to be able to do a pull-up and just have these awesome biceps right here. Like if you look at my lats where the V is, that is very apparent. On the 60th day, I did it! Last night I was outside and like at a taco truck and there was like some scaffolding and I was like, it, I'm just gonna like try and do one. Like did not think I would be able to. Yeah. And I did it! Just at the nick of time. Yeah! I thought I was gonna be the only one in the video who wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I did it. Seeing that footage, I just like wanna keep watching it over and over again. It's something that I never thought I would be able to do. I definitely feel like my shoulders are a little more defined and the area like around my armpit feels like stronger. Now, every time I walk past or see any type of bar, I just like have to jump on it and try and I'm gonna perfect it. I have loved doing this because I've never weightlifted before and I feel like really strong and this is definitely something I wanna continue in my life. My biceps definitely look more defined and that's really cool. I feel like I look super strong and I'm like, hell yeah. Everybody's fitness journey is different. As long as you put in the hard work, the dedication, and just be patient with yourself, I think that is the key. That is what I've learned. So now my dad will be happy because he's always been worried if I'm like hanging off a cliff, I won't be able to save my own life because I can't do a pull-up, but now I can. So thanks, Dad.